For more on General Motors and the future of the entire auto industry, we're joined now by Jerry Greenwald of Greenbrier Equity Group. Jerry is the former chairman of Chrysler. He's also the former chief executive and chairman of United Airlines. Jerry Greenwald, welcome to Bloomberg. Thanks for having me. So how did GM manage to pull this off? I mean, it seemed as though it went from bankrupt to IPO in a very short amount of time. How did they manage this? You know, we could be watching the Cinderella business story of the decade. It, it, it's truly amazing. And if I, if, I, if I could just say it in, a short, in staccato terms, the former management started uh, new products that are turning out to be terrific, but they had a terrible balance sheet and high cost. And when we had the Great Recession, they ran right into the federal government because they had no choice. And the federal government, led, led by some private sector guys, Steve Ratner and others, did a marvelous job of getting them in and out of, uh, of bankruptcy. And here they are, resurgent. It's, they've got their costs down. They've got a good balance sheet. They've got great product coming. It's not the end of the Cinderella story, but it, we've got a really good start here. Now, Jerry Greenwald, as part of the Cinderella story, though, the U.S. taxpayer might be looking for some repayment. How long does that take? Well, um, a lot of shares were moved today, more than anybody hoped at a higher price. But for the remainder of the taxpayer's shares, they've got to be, GM has got to be able to continue to develop and grow so that their stock price goes into the 50s. And if that happens and the federal government then sells, the taxpayer broke even, should be happy. The G GM, it will be a strong company for, for all of America in the future. But GM's gonna have to do a lot more things in the next two to three years for, for that share price to grow like that. What are some of those things in terms of allocating capital for new technologies such as hybrid uh, automobiles or even the Chevy Volt? Well, I'll start with this, because I lived through it, the old Chrysler coming out of bankrupt, all that stuff. And, and my one-liner is, it's, not, it's hard to believe, but it is, it is easier to manage survival than it is to manage success. Now that GM is resurgent, too many people, too many companies may want, want some of their money back, and that would be a mistake. GM has got to keep their costs down. They're benefiting from a, a, low, a low dollar so that others can't compete as well. That's All not right. going to last. Uh, Jerry Greenwald, to just pick up on something that Julie Hyman was talking about, margins. Can the U.S. automobile industry produce stable profits at the current price points? Because they've got very low financing costs right now, a lot of 0% down, 0% financing deals and $1,500 cash back. Is that the way that they're going to see themselves to stable profits? I, I, I believe they're going to need to continue to offer credit. They're going to need to offer more credit as the, as the economy gets stronger. Total sales in America are going to go from 12 million a year, cars and light trucks, back up to 15 or 16 million. That means more credit, and they're going to need it. And so the, even if they have to pay some more for it, they'll be fine. All right, so if there's going to be credit available to do that, do you think that the concept of the uh, GM IPO uh, is going to attract even more investors as they start to see the strategy unfold? Will people be paying up more for the stock? I would, exp I would think so. Uh, I mean, I'm a believer, I think most of us are, that the U.S. economy may be too slow, but it is improving, and as it improves, the number of cars and trucks sold in America are going to go up by another 30 percent. So I think there's going to be growing confidence in the next two to three years uh, as long as the car companies have learned their lesson, hold their costs down, keep their quality up, and keep bringing out great product. They talk about great products. Talk about a new product, the Chevy Volt, and the popularity, perhaps, of electric cars. Is this going to depend on fleet sales and uh, government subsidies for a while? I'm, I'm not a, a great champion of, of, uh, 
an early success of electric cars. I think our whole, the whole auto industry is on a 10-year journey, and it's going to require some form of subsidy in the interim to, to see electric uh, and even electric hybrid cars continue to, to grow in sales. Now, Jerry Greenwald, uh, as uh, reported, uh, GM uh, successful IPO, producing profits, but the competition isn't standing still. Do you expect a resurgence from companies such as Toyota and Nissan? I, I do think that we're going to see a resurgence from Toyota, probably Hyundai, probably Nissan, and, uh, and that is why GM is going to, Ford and, and Chrysler are going to have to keep up the pace of, of ever more exciting new products. This is a tough, tough industry. You can't, you stand still, you get run over. Jerry Greenwald, what about the technology that's going in new automobiles? Are people more interested in what they see in the cockpit of the car than what they can look at under the hood? I think, I think the car companies have created a lot of excitement, both in terms of safety devices, convenience devices, communication devices, uh, but there's still the excitement from design, and, and that's never going away. Jerry Greenwald, what about taking control of their own destiny in terms of finances for General Motors? Is that something that needs to be accomplished uh, sooner rather than later? Over, over a time period, any car company is better off if it has it, it, full control over the financing for its dealers and its customers. Uh, I don't think that GM is, is hurting right now because of that, but over time they would be better off having full control with a captive finance company. Last question, Jerry Greenwald. Jer Jerry Greenwald, what kind of automobile would you like to be driving from either Chrysler or Ford or General Motors? Oh, I, now you've asked a really tough question, uh, and I'll get in a fight with my wife if I pick one she doesn't like. I like all three. I, I'm a little bit prejudiced because uh, I came out of Chrysler, and I like four-wheel drive, and I like Jeeps, but I could take any of the three car companies. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Jerry Greenwald, coming to us from Greenbrier Equity, uh, giving us some insight into the future of the U.S. automobile industry.